But just who is Angeline anyway? Well, she's a larger-than-life blonde bombshell, a Hollywood icon. But it's not her singing or her slim acting credits that have made her a household name. Angeline's fame was created through marketing. For 14 years, she's been the billboard queen of Los Angeles, literally buying her legend. Despite all her notoriety, Angeline the woman has always been elusive. We were determined to meet the blonde behind the billboards. So we hit the streets and went in search of the real Angeline. Do you know who this lady Angeline is? Uh, I hear she was married to some old man that I just paid her. She's sort of the, the, the absolute pure form of American celebrity at this point. Some entertainment insiders say Angeline's billboards make her a commodity more than a celebrity. Still, her strategy is standard stuff in Hollywood. Sweet. But Angeline's fame isn't built around her willingness to flash skin. While I crossed Hollywood searching for Angeline, I realized her fame was built on old-style glitz and glamour. Camera-carrying fans are snapping it up. People are not looking at Angeline and saying, God, she's great. They're saying, this is goofy. All the guys I Goofy? Absolutely. But she's created a persona that can't be ignored. Something I noticed when I finally met her in the heart of Hollywood. Well, I know what I do. I do me. I do Angeline. And if they're curious, that makes it better. One of the things that a lot of people say is that you're one of a kind because you're famous for being famous. Right. It's difficult. It's more difficult to become famous for being famous. Um, when my billboard went up, it was like, boom! The minute it went up, I was famous. Angeline may be more caricature than superstar, but in a town where fame is fleeting, Angeline has staying power. Of all the guys I...